to the Italian Football Podcast. Today I want us to do a profile on Empoli left back Fabiano Parisi, who has been really, really impressive this season for Empoli. In fact, he has been really shown a lot of promise for, for a good couple of seasons now. 22 year old left back. Um, he broke through at, at Avellino first, and I, I knew about this guy a few years ago because that's where my fam- mum's family are from. And Parisi was a was a huge fan favorite at uh, at Avellino, and yeah. he's, he's they call him the pen, il pendolino di Serino. Serino, yeah, 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 yeah. He's up and down that that um, that that, that left hand side, and he's um, he's he's a regular for the Italy under national under twenty one national team, and uh, Roberto Mancini has been following him closely as well. Mancini was was actually at the game to watch uh, Empoli against Monza to, to watch him. And um, he could even yeah receive a call up for the for the next Euro twenty twenty four qualifiers. And uh, I think he's I think he's not far off um, being a, a from an, I mean Italy I know Italy have got a lot of promising young left backs at the moment. Di Marco, Padizzi, uh Udoji, uh, I'm probably missing someone um, as well. Cambiasso, you know, there's a lot of uh, good up and coming left backs right now. But um, he's, um, I think he has all the qualities, the raw qualities to become a, a top left back. I mean, he's, a, he's an excellent dribbler. I've been looking up his stats. He's the, the fourth in Serie A this season for, for successful dribbles. And that's all players of all positions. So he's coming from a left back. That's very, very impressive. He's, he's very quick. He's, you know, he's up and down the, the left flank. He's, he's got a lot of intensity. He's a modern, modern fullback. But he's also, unlike many modern fullbacks, he's also very, very good defensively. And if you look at his his stats, his underlying metrics, he's 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 right up there for, for a lot of the key metrics when it comes to defensive metrics. And he's he's uh, second in Serie A among fullbacks for for ball recoveries behind uh, Adam Marusic of um, of Lazio. Uh, he also is the second for ball recoveries in the opposition half. So, I mean, I know Empoli play that way, but it also shows his ability to, you know, press into the opposition half and win the ball high up. Um, he's third in Serie A among fullbacks for challenges. He's a competitive player. He's third in Serie A among fullbacks for tackles. So he gets stuck in, he puts challenges in. He reads the game well because he's third in Serie A among fullbacks for interceptions. Uh, and he has, I wouldn't say he has a massive goal threat, but he does have a goal threat. He scored twice. He scored twice this season because he, he does get forward. So I think he's, yeah, I think this is a very, very promising player. He's been linked to to a lot of uh, Premier League clubs. There's Premier League interest in him. And also, you know, some Serie A teams. Napoli have been linked to him. And uh, talking from Juventus' point of view of needing a left back, I think Juventus would, could, could certainly do with somebody like Parisi. So... Yeah, he's a player that I'm. I'm. I'm very excited to see how he how he develops in the in the next few years. Uh, I think he's a very very promising player. Nima. I really like him. I really really like him. I think he's technical. He's he's a modern fullback. I like his crossing. I like that he can dribble. He can beat his man. Um, and I I think he's got pretty much all the raw qualities. Everything needed to be a top left back, whether it's a wing back or a or a left back in a four um, is is something I, I I think it would be you know uh, is, is is something that I think will make him he has everything there to become a top top player for sure and I think with Inter struggling a little bit um, on that position uh, you know unless they find a right wing back that can do that. Um, you know they've got Di Marco who's more of a you know brilliant crosser but can't you know he's not a dribbler or can beat his man. Um, but Parisi would be an option, even though I think Gossens has been great, but he's not exactly getting any younger Gossens. So if there's a possibility to sell Robin Gossens and bring in Parisi, I would I would love him at Inter. I think he's absolutely... Don't upset. get greedy now, Nima. No, I'm not getting greedy. <laughs> get greedy. I've got, you cannot say I've gotten greedy when I've got Denzel Dumfries, the human meme, on right wing back. And <laughs> Don't Edin get greedy Jekyll, at left back. Bosnian nonno standing there. Lo- lo- he looks like, literally like, you know, Jekyll is a class player, but he's 37, he's going on 38, and his turns are exactly like that cartoon, Zootropolis, when they're going to the to the You can't B&B. go a day without, without ripping and, on... And, on and it's like, you know, at the, at the department of motor vehicles and they the the sloths and how slowly they move that is how Jekyll turns it's 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 it's, it's genuinely painful um but mm. it is what it is no, another, Parisi, another impressive young 
player coming through at Empoli because yeah. it's such a good record and we know about Vicario who well really... done to you Vicario who well, you well are looking Vicario. at apparently you were looking at Vicario and Roma yeah uh, yeah, we'll players. have to do a profile on, on Vicario yeah, soon because he's. I think he. I think him and I think Valparisi and Vicario this summer. I think both of them will leave. I think well, Adan- Paolo Adan- Zanetti, Adan- the Empoli coach, has been very honest about. It. He's basically saying that we were we are we're counting on losing Parisi this summer. I mean, he's been very open about that, and that's why he's played Cacace, who says that you know he's the future of Empoli. He's been very open about. It's that. also also Italy producing so many good left backs at the moment. Yeah. It's strange, isn't it? How goes in cycles doesn't it like some positions there's just nothing like in yeah. the number nine position and the attack i mean they're so, in such a crisis in the attack that they're actually looking to the the romanian league and the and uh, the the argentine to the argentine league or, or they're looking at an argentinian player who i'll be honest i hadn't even heard of until this morning and, and, and i've forgot already forgotten his name <laughs> you know they're looking to call up players from from south america and, and from the romanian league i mean that is horrendous um, whereas a left back, they've got, you know, three or four that look like they can become top top left backs. And mm. uh, for me, still Udoji is is the raw talent that he has is is a head and shoulders above everyone else. But it remains to be seen. I mean, he's in a he's in he's in a he's in a critical. You know, it's important that he sometimes it's how you fit into the system as well, isn't it? Yeah. I think what I like about Parisi is he looks like a player that can I reckon could Adapt. be adaptable to to, yeah. to any yeah. system. Agreed. I think. Agreed. Agreed, one hundred percent. But it, it's going to be. Um, I mean, a dodgy, I think, well, like, can he yeah. play in a back four? We don't know. He's never played there. No, no. Well, and not, also not a club level. Going to Spurs and playing under Pochettino. I mean, hmm, if well, that's, that's it, happens. how would you know? How would he do? How would he do if they go to a back four at Tottenham? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But then I guess if he wants a career in the Italy national team, he has to play there. And I guess that's probably why he hasn't been called up for Italy so far. Yeah. Because of, I think because of that.